Bradford the Brake Van. <laughs> the troublesome trucks were being difficult again. Stop that, will you? Leave your brakes off! While Thomas was struggling to get them moving, Samson arrived from the mainland. Hello, Thomas. Are your trucks being troublesome again? <sighs> very troublesome. <sighs> My trucks are very well behaved. <laughs> tut, tut, tut. Those trucks of yours. Disgraceful behaviour. I wouldn't put up with nonsense like that. Oh? <laughs> Hello. And who are you? I'm Bradford. Take me along with you and I'll show you how I deal with troublesome trucks. Well, okay, Bradford. I do need a brake van. My name's Thomas, by the way. Couple me up facing them, Thomas. I need to keep an eye on this bothersome bunch. <laughs> I'm in charge now, so no bumping and none of you a cheek. <laughs> but we like bumping. Not on my watch, Betty. This is now a bump-free zone. Oh, dear, how sad. Never mind. When you're ready, Thomas. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Steady now, you motley lot. The other engines thought Thomas was lucky to be working with such a wonderful brake van as Bradford. <laughs> I wish my trucks were that well behaved. <laughs> What's wrong? According to the official Railway Safety Guideline Manual, the level of stone in these trucks is nine millimetres too high. What? You'll have to empty some of them out, Thomas, before I can allow you to proceed. But if I stop to unload, I'll be late. Thomas, following the rules is more important than being on time. <sighs> oh. Ah, Thomas, <sighs> you're very late. <sighs> Just leave those trucks, go and fetch Annie and Clarabelle, and get back on schedule. Yes, sir. If you're not using your new brake van, Thomas, could I use him, please? Oh, be my guest, Whiff. His name's Bradford. OK, Bradford, ready to roll. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop right there! What? What's wrong? You are going nowhere until these mucky trucks have cleaned themselves up. But they're only going to be carrying dirty waste to the dump. No matter. A dirty truck is a disorderly truck. Now, off to the washdown. Hut, 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 move it, move it. Oh. And it wasn't just Thomas and Whiff who found themselves delayed by Bradford. Hello, Bradford. Henry, I noticed a tiny crack in your lamp. That'll need to be replaced. But the Steamworks is miles away. I have my fish deliveries to make. Safety always comes first, Henry, even when fish are involved. Oh. Henry came back to the sheds late and all the engines were sharing their stories about Bradford, the new brake van. And I was so late, the fat controller was furious. He was cross with me, too. And all because Bradford made me drive really slowly after he'd noticed one leaf on the line. He keeps making us late with all his silly rules and regulations. And we keep getting in trouble with the fat controller. But we don't have to work with him. There are other brake vans we can take. <sighs> but later that morning, oh. 
Thomas had to collect some more stone from the quarry. <gasps> and Bradford was the only brake van available. Oh, no. Not Bradford. He'll just make me late again. Rather than get in more trouble, Thomas decided to slip off quietly without a brake van. <laughs> Thomas? Thomas! Hold on! I need to speak to you! Hurry up, Owen! <laughs> this time the Fat Controller will be very pleased with me. And there was more trouble. With too many rocks and no brake van to help him slow down, Thomas couldn't stop. Percy! Thomas! Look out! <gasps> Look out! <laughs> Sorry, Percy. The Fat Controller came to inspect the scene of the accident, but luckily there was no damage. Thomas, what were you thinking? Going off without a brake van. I'm very sorry, sir. I just didn't want to be late again. Oh, dear. Following the rules and regulations and staying safe is far more important than being on time, Thomas. That's what Bradford said. I should have listened to him. Hello, Bradford. I'm sorry for ignoring you when you called me before. I was very silly to go off without a brake van. Oh, uh, right. But I wasn't calling you about that, Thomas. Uh, I was calling to say goodbye. Goodbye? <clears throat> it is with great regret that I must inform of my decision to leave this island. I'm sorry to let you all down when you're depending on me and your time of need, you but mean I... you're leaving? Please don't make a fuss. I know how much you all appreciate me. Don't try to talk me out of it. No sad faces, no tears. I've made up my mind. I'm going back with my old pal, Samson. <laughs> We make a great team, Bradford and I. Well, naturally, we'll all miss you very much, Bradford. Absolutely. Terrible shame. Pity. <laughs> See you next time we're on Sodor. Bye. See you soon. Can't wait. Good luck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no tooting whistles whilst stationary. <laughs> oh, all right, then. Just this once. Toot away. <laughs> After all they'd been through, the engines were quite happy to say goodbye to Bradford for a while. And so were the troublesome trucks. <laughs>